Hey guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Well, there's a lot of pieces out there. Lots of clatter outside, but that's okay. We still got this together. Anyways, welcome to Boshi Monsters Biography. We're glad you're here today because th because we got another shot keeper today. Look out on the show. Yay! Yeah, I can't believe it. And later on, we still have, we got Sanrio Character Origins. So be prepared for it. You do not want to miss it. But right now, let's get right into the episode. And let's see how well this little shopping you can do as is coming out of Sludge Street. And this, and the shopkeeper is from Horror Odds. So let's get ready for it. We're about to go in right now. Are you ready? Good. Welcome to episode 261 of Moshi Monsters by V. And today we are taking a look at Ms. Snoots. Wow. I don't know about you, but this is going to be a cool character to, to take a look at. I believe it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So if you're ready for this, let's go. If you're if, if you're interested, then let's have some fun. If you have seen our previous episode, which is episode 260, where we took a look at, at Mid C. The Clockwork Crawly, emotionally out of the out of the next like set, the late time we on the top recording of the game, you can see the symbol, wait for you to watch. But now, in the meantime, let's get started with this episode. Got it? Good, here we go. So, who is Ms. Snoots? Ms. Snoots is the shopkeeper of Horrods. She is also probably, probably the neatest and fussiest monster in Monstro City. When you enter her, uh, her shop, she says, Greetings, what can I get you? Or, good day, monsters are my business. And business is good. Unlike other shopkeepers, Snoots have had won Ms. Monster City Beauty Contest a number of times, according to Gear Psychopia, which I'll get to in a, little, in a moment. Run by uh, run possibly the most renowned shops for expense and quality, and uh, they graduated from none other than uh, Ox Snout University. Um, again, from Gear Psychopia. Parody Oxford. So, yeah, that's really chat here. Looking at the stats here. Name is the uh, Ms. Snoots. Occupations include shopkeeper, horrors, and beauty pageant champion. Uh, the beauty and the release of Slush Street and relationships includes our fangs, which I'll get to in a future episode of the series. So please stay tuned. So yeah, let's pretty much it. Let's go to the Gears of Yeah, Maine, the winner of a number Ms. Monster City Beauty Pick Contest and a scholarship to the Oxnard University, Hoity Toity Ms. Snoots has always held her head up a little higher than those around her. Add to the monstrously exquisite horrors and Mrs. Snoots will help you with all of your shopping needs. Moshi, tabulous style. Yay. Uh, Mrs. Snoots perfects her poshy moshi look with her ferocious facials, daily antenna polishes, and expensive highlights and hair don'ts. It's no wonder this glamorous it, uh, it monster constantly appears in, in the in the grossive columns of Miss Preen magazine. Yay, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the data file. Hang, uh, hang up, hearts, cash rage, good day, likes shop, shopping, powdery, powdery peak, often spotted in, in all the right places, all the right places, yeah, for the notes, designer both hair accessory, eyelashes flutter faster than flutter buys, always dressed in the latest fashions, Ms. Snoots auctions her old clothes from the previous week, yay, I know, uh, in the Bushpedia, winning several beauty pageants and a scholarship in at Oxnow University, Ms. Snoots has always held her Head high, where she's not busy selling extra extravagant items at Horace, she could be seen in the pages of Miss Pretty Magazine. Hui, yeah. Uh, let's set that up. Uh, let's go to the fat file from Moshi Monsters Magazine. Main, for up uh, for upwardly mobile monsters, there's only one place to shop in Marshall City. The hoity toity home of extravagant, unessentials, Horace. It's so exclusive that only Moshi members could get through the door. For so far, those of you, those of you who haven't met, who have met her, and for regular Horrods customers too, here's the lowdown of Horrods' elegant upper-class shopkeeper, Ms. Snoots, the neatest, fussiest monster in town. I say, <laughs> Ms. Snoots is famous for her fluttery eyelashes. They flutter faster than flutterbys, which is very, which is very pretty, but has been known to attract hungry birds. Yay! Um, record breaker as a young monster, the elegant Ms. Snoots some, was something of a tomboy. She still holds the records for at her school for mud pie making and rocks tree climbing. A company image of Mississippi mud pie and Miss Snoots strapped to, to a rock tree. Blank thing! The china pot that, that sits behind Miss Snoots' shop, shop counter are original Blank Dynasty vases. They're older, they're older than other furry and more valuable than, than all the masterpiece mass, uh, babies in the Guggenheim Museum puts. Put together, oh yeah, oh yeah, and about Elder Frey, I already talked about him on episode 113 of the series. Please give it a watch if you haven't seen the episode yet. Beauty Queen! With with her exquisite fashion sense and lush looks, Miss Snoots is a regular on the beauty pageant scene. She's the only monster to have been to have been crowned Miss Monster City three years in a row. Oh yeah, uh, Poshy, 
Okay, yeah, uh, a company image of her, uh, of her with a tiara and Miss Monster City, the certified ribbon. Yeah, Boshi, Boshi, her trademark look, gold polka dot dress, and matching hair bows is called Poshi Boshi. Miss, Miss News was tricked in a fashion craze after she appeared on the cover of Cosmopolitan Magazine, which of course is a parody of Cosmopolitan Magazine. Okay, I know about yeah. Uh, move over for the relationships. Rory Scrawl, rather than neutral, he mistakenly gave Tyra Fangs his love song present for Twistmas, and it is unclear if accepted and or returned and slash her and slash or returned them. His her focus was on Rory be, being be honest to his current partner, and then we had Tyra Fangs BFF, presumably due to their uh, symptoms and to to to, to, the, to the synonyms. They both model. They look at the third. Both monstrous city celebrities, and they're both interested. In general beauty, Snoots is also shown to care for her. In a daily rally post, she's insisted that Rory told Tyra the truth about his feelings for Snoots. This, of course, was a mistake. And I'll talk about both Rory Squall and Tyra Fangs in future episodes of the series. Please stay tuned. I'll let you know when they come out. Let's move into the appearance. Yeah, in the appearance, Mrs. Snoots is a monster with a with insect and bird-like features. She has pink skin and, and, and is clad... In a spot in spite of golden dress. Her green hair is short when with playful bangs decorated by a golden bow dimple on the right, and she has a pair of antenna on her head, which end in a gold which end in gold bulbs. She wears dark blue trainers, which themselves sport bows similar to the one to the one by her hair. Her turquoise eyes are so with dark pupil with dark pupils are slightly resembling the, the reminiscent of compound eyes due to their size and their position on her head. She has a beak-like mouth with its tint matching matching her hair color. She has purple. She has purple blush on her cheeks, and her eyelids are dark pink in color. Some artwork thought throughout the franchise to pit her with a slimmer figure than usual, according to series two mashup. High high wise, she she seems to be taller than fellow model Tyra Fangs. Yeah, so now you know. Uh, let's get to the fiction. As stated, uh, uh, all right. In the fiction, as stated, she has a slimmer figure, but is shown to shine as if she were a patchet at the moment. At that moment, perhaps connecting such. Oh boy. Uh, in series one and two, she looks condensing too, perhaps standing as an intent testament to her character, which tends to be materialistic and uh, arrogant because of her success. She does run a shop with two incredibly valuable pots. They ran along with its name parody, that of London's uh, Harrods, one of the most popular, one of the most famous shops by quality. She did graduate from Oxford University <laughs> again for the character second PM, which I did earlier in the video, uh, which par which parodies Oxford, one of the most renowned European universities by beauty and student turnout turnouts, and she has won a, a beauty pageant three times in a row. Uh, yeah, something which is considered. Rare by the fact that judges cannot be biased over the over multiple succession winners. So yay, I know about you, but it's good. But that's good. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the timeline. And see how well you know about these. Uh, let's get started. 2008. Hor Horas. Boshi Monster starts with Horas as a non-member store initially throughout. So in January 2019, with the exception of membership, it most it most likely became a member store. Judging by the, by its comments, yay! January 14, 2009, Daily Growl, the post has has for some of uh, region been removed in a significant scale. It, 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 so it in so far as it as it being difficult to understand what is what is being said, what can be deducted, however, by uh, by looking at the comments, is that Horus became a member exclusive store. Uh oh, not good. Uh. November 19, 2010, Series 1 mashup has a card. September 7, 2011, Series 2 mashup has a card. November, November, 20, November 17, 2011, the Seed Card Mega Blocks has a figurine. July 23, 2012, Danny Growl. In the second paragraph, the Snoots is, is quoted as, say, as saying, It's truly the most amazing thing to happen in Monster City since my doors first opened. Many Moshi moons ago, on the topic of a free one-day membership. Oh yeah, love it. September 13, 2012, Series 3 matchup as a card. 
December 23rd, 2012, Danny Ralph. Rory accidentally gives Snoots his twist, Miss President, for Tiger Fangs. Snoots spoke to be to be flanked about his feelings for her, but that sh but that but that he should tell Tyra the truth. Rory, as um, as per usual, asked the readers for advice, with the consensus being that he should tell Miss Snoots. Oh yeah, of uh, December twenty fourth, two thousand twelve, Daily Well. Rory follows the uh, the avail of his audience, of his audience, and tells her presumably by telephone. And she understands the situation, but Rory did not have the, the heart to tell her to hand over the ultra rare present attached to attached there too. She thought the message was for Tyra, not the present. As and as such, Rory ended up consulting the kids once again. This time, in exchange for random rocks, in in lieu of resolution, in lieu of resolution, say. Right. Of July, July 9, 2013, Ghostbusters fell sleeping in her shop, where an epic is located. Mm -hmm. October 24, 2012, Boshi Monsters Magazine, issue 35, has her own fight file. And May 19, 2014, Boshi Monsters Village, a uh, quest character. So that's the timeline for Ms. Snoots. And finally, for the trivia, Ms. Snoots has her name ha has had her name misspelled many times in the franchise. Mostly, mostly as Ms. Snoots, Ms. Snoots. And, and, and or or Ms. Snoots. This has appeared in com in canon sources, such as on the Daily Ground for one. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna say here. But that's it for Ms. Snoots, ladies and gentlemen. Getting to the final ring for the character. Man, can't wait to see what Ms. Snoots has to say about her. Her, however, she has yet to appear in Moshi Sleep and Mindfulness, as well as in Moshi Monsters Egg Hunt. But you get the point right now. The truth is, Ms. Snoots is definitely a good character for here, and she's definitely here to say. On scale one to ten, I gave I gave Ms. Snoots a score of nine. Out of ten. Awesome character, definitely the best. She is totally awesome. Only the best for last. Man, Miss News, she's definitely here to stay. However, that's only my personal and conservative opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with your lots of opinions and leave me in the comment section down below. Guys, that's it for Miss News, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, thank you all for watching another episode of Mochi Monsters by Giving. We hope you guys enjoyed the show. We can't wait to see more of you again tomorrow with another episode. But don't go anywhere because we have a new episode of Savory Kind of Orchards coming up next. So please stay tuned. In the meantime, <coughs> yeah. All things must come to an end. Thank you for watching. I'm Egon Sanchez, you yourself, and I will see you next time on Boshi Monsters Biography. Please come back and see us next time for episode 262 as we head to Jollywood to take a look at Mo Pukka. So please stay tuned for that. As you can see, Mo Pukka is a Jollywood counterpart to Mo Yucky, which I'll get to, to in the episode after that. But right now, we'll, we'll, have to get, we'll have to take a look at Mo Pukka next time. So we'll see you tomorrow for episode 262. Until then, I'm Egon Sanchez. Please remember to leave a like. Share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications if you miss a new video. Please, please, please subscribe to notifications to not miss another new video from me as we are on the road to 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day, and stay tuned for Savory Kind of Orchards coming up next, right here on this channel. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. I'll be glad to send you a like, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Laters!